Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiot in Space. We are here back on the platform. I spent several hours in blinding light resoldering, rebuilding this platform because it was completely demolished. Uh, it, it was trashed. Uh, I also rebuilt Little Red uh, slightly different with a little bit more power uh, in the back and on the sides and on the front. And, uh, boop. On the top and bottom as well. We have thrusters. I have thrusters pretty much everywhere now. It's a little bit, uh, easier to maneuver. A little bit easier to get around in. Um, but it's also a little bit bigger. Uh, what I had to do, I had to expand backwards one more block so I could actually fit the thrusters in there. But I also have two gyroscopes. And, um... Note the fact that the gyroscope is pointing backwards there, and it's pointing backwards here. Uh, I don't think this is the way you want to do it. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but I built another ship in a creative world, and uh, it seems to work better if you set one to point one way and one to point per or, uh, perpendicular to that way. So... Yeah, I don't know if that helped. I don't know if that actually helped, but it seemed to help. Uh, so, let's see. What do I got? Um, yeah, as I was building the platform, I would be sitting there, I'd be like, solder, solder, or weld, 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 turn around, and there'd be a giant hole right there. <laughs> don't hear anything. Don't see anything. It's just all of a sudden, there's just a hole there. So as you can see, I put a uh, turret on the back of yellow there and parked yellow up there so I could actually build stuff. And then I put a second turret here just as a little bit more because I've noticed that I, you need at least two to really protect the platform. Uh, a few more will actually n not hurt, actually quite help. Um, but yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. What I want to do, because my goal is to go after the stuff with the big ships. Um, boop, there we go. Yeah, I want to go after the big ships. I want to get some of the big ships. I want to at least see them, because I haven't even seen them. All I've seen is little bolts of light flying straight at me before I die. Uh, so what I have, uh, what I have figured out, I started, uh, like I said, I was playing around in a creative world, building up a fighter ship, and... Um, I was thinking about it, building plans for that kind of thing, and I was like, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Uh, what I would really need, what would be really useful, is actually, like, to gather up a team of misfits and outcasts and build the best damn fighter force ever imagined. Yeah, not going to happen. Um, I was fiddling around with the server worlds. I figured out how to take a single-player game and turn it into a multiplayer game. So I could invite other people to it. Um, but the only people on my Steam friends list that actually have the game I don't know well enough to invite to my game, um, and the people I do know well enough to invite to my game, I don't know if they have it or I know they don't. Uh, like, I would love to invite DW or Space or West, uh, probably a couple others from the old server, but uh, I know DW doesn't have it, and I don't know about the others. But, yeah, so that's what we got. Um, so we're stuck with on our own for right now. And the f so what I was thinking I would need, I would need a couple of tiny maneuverable fighters to go in map out where the turrets are, get in past the turrets, map out where the turrets are, and then destroy them. And then I need a big ship, kind of like a little red here, a big airship with a lot of force behind it, a lot of engines, a lot of power, and uh, to latch on to the ship and stop it so that I could go around and look for any booby traps. But I also, I was thinking, I'm like, that's a really good idea, I can do that. But it would be kind of a pain in the ass to do in one ship because that's it's, I'm only one person. I can only fly one ship at a time. Um, so, yeah. So what I'm going to do anyways, I'm going to at least test out the first part of it 
eventually. This might take a little while. And I want to make a little fighter ship. Now, like I said, I was screwing around with it before and uh, just mapping it out, building it uh, on a creative world. No, 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 no. I don't want you. Hang on a second. You go away. I want a new small ship. Um, something's not right here. <laughs> Let's try that again. New small ship. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do... No, I am going to build it still on here. I'm going to have to lift it up eventually, and I could just do that initially. But if I did that and I bumped into it with anything, it would just take off. But what I can do is build it down here and start building it. And because I still have little red... Um, and Little Red has landing pads. I can actually, once I build the cockpit, I can attach Little Red to it, pick up the ship. But until then, this is actually locked to the ground, so I can't move it, which is really, really useful. Uh, G, and I don't want these blocks. Uh, I'll fiddle with those later. I want, since I'm going to be taking this thing into battle, I want the heavy armor blocks. And let us build our initial base uh p let's make this a different color let's make this green since this is going to be my military ship green camo seems to work out fairly well um all right let's think how wide do i want this to be i want this to be a little bit wider so i can spread out the thrusters uh let's see one two three four five six seven and then we'll put the nut or the second landing gear right there, and then come out two more. Boop, boop. That's always creepy to hear that, because even with two turrets back there, it's not enough. Um, I'll be I just screwing around in my old world. Uh, that for the record, I deleted because I'm not using it anymore. I'm focusing on this one. Uh, but in my old world. That I just now, just right this very second, realized I could have used for this series. Because I can change the settings. I couldn't figure out how to change the settings, but now I know how to change the settings. Oh, frack. I could have used that world. Uh, we could have seen if the red ship was going to hit the uh, platform or not. But I deleted that world now. Oh, crap. I feel stupid. All right. Um... So yeah, I'm basically starting out with a triangle, triangle shape. Triangle. Why do? Why does it sound like I'm saying that wrong? Triangle. I'm fairly sure that's the right uh, page up. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's the right way of saying that word. Boop, boop, boop. I need more steel plates. I was doing this in creative world. I was kind of used to just going, okay, I need this and I need this and I need this and I didn't have to actually go hunting for things. I turned off the gravity generator because uh, the ship was kind of screwing with the gravity around here and just messing with me completely. Just giving me all kinds of problems. I am going to need more steel plates. Lots more steel plates. Let's make a whole buttload. That'll be enough for right now. I don't want to use all of my iron, even though I have a lot of it. Um... That's gold, that's platinum, that's stone. Oh, I have a lot more iron, too. I have plenty of iron. But I don't want to use all of my iron just yet because i got to build other stuff with it. Boop. Alrighty. Boop. Then we shall finish up. Uh, delete. Let's put some points on the end of this thing. All right, so I don't want delete this time. I want page down. There we go. All right, so that's our general base for our ship. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to slaughter this bastard up. But you know what? I'm sick and tired of putting that bloody filter on there. I mean, it looks, it makes everything look better, and it's easier on your eyes. And it's easier on my eyes, trust me. But uh, it's such a pain in the ass to put on properly. Uh, I could just filter over large chunks of it, but it would look ugly. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to solder up the base here 
and skip and just skip that part um so uh i don't know fade the next scene whatever whatever transition i use for that there we go all welded up and now we just have to build all the parts that go with it now this is not going to be terribly easy for a couple of reasons uh one Wow, the heavy armor does amazingly well when it comes to uh, defending the ship. I need interior plates. I need fucking everything. I don't know why I didn't grab that before I restarted, re ah! restarted recording. Oh, wrong side of the ship anyways. <sighs> Go face first into the ship, and I, it's not even the right side of the ship. Um, so, yeah, so uh, uh, while... You know, while I could be defended fairly well from... Let's put about 500 of these guys back. From bullets and stuff, uh, the cockpit isn't. I have no idea how many, how much of what I'll need. So I'll just do my standard thing where I grab, like, uh, 20 or 30 of everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing this one day, and all of a sudden everything in front of me is just going to disappear. Oh, yeah. That would that would suck. That would suck a lot. But you know, if it happens, it happens. Like I said, it would suck, but it happens. I also need a whole crap ton of everything. I know I need bulletproof plate or bulletproof glass, which, despite the fact that it's called bulletproof glass, it is not very bulletproof. And I'm out of storage space, aren't I? Let's grab some more of this stuff. Boop. I am almost. Almost. Let's just fill the rest with bulletproof glass. Yeah, three. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much into my inventory as possible, but, uh... Woo! Block. Yeah. Uh, you can only do just so much. Whoa! Fly away! Fly away! Uh, yeah, let's put you there. Uh, the cockpit isn't very bulletproof. I need a bunch of construction components, and I don't have construction components. And I don't have storage to put them anywhere because I don't have any storage containers, so I have to keep coming back over here. Whoa. Come on, balance, balance. I guess I can just dump... Uh, the rest of these, well, a bunch of these still plates anyways. Let's get rid of, oh, 400 of them. That should free up some storage space. Yeah, that freed up a bit of a storage space there. Um, so I do know I need bulletproof glass, and I need a lot more of it. I don't remember how much exactly, but I do need a lot of it. Uh, I know I need construction components, and a crap ton of those. Um, what else do I need? That's ammo... Do I need anything else? That's gravity generated components. I'm not going to mess with that. Detector components, no. Radio communication components, yes, but later. Uh, reactor, reactor components, yes, but again, later, because that's going to take up a lot of space. Um, I think I have everything I need for right now. Come on, there. Nope. Out the hole. Out the hole. Come on. Out the hole. Thank you. Yeah, having the gravity turned off is kind of a pain in the ass, actually. It's kind of annoying. All right. Uh, I don't want to build this yet, so I'm not going to. Uh, what I do want to build uh, is... Where are they? Gatling guns. All right. Now, I thought about the placement for a bit, and it's a debate on where we want to place these guys. Because the trick with the Gatling guns is they point forward. No matter what, they point straight forward. So if I have one here, and I have one over here, they will both point forward. They're, the trajectories will never meet. So there's no place where I can focus fire. They will always fire parallel to each other. So if that's the case, then as close together as possible would be better. But... Uh, the flash, the muzzle flash from these guys is blinding. So further apart would be better. 
So it's a bit of a debate. Uh, let's see. I also have those there. <sighs> what if I put them there? How does that look? Ah, that muzzle's still pretty close, but I guess we'll try it and see. Um, and then I need pipage. Because what I want to do... Oh, no. Small... Oh, wrong conveyor. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. These guys. The little guys. There we go. Because I gotta do a couple of things. And this this is nowhere near wide enough in the back. I'm gonna have to extend the back a bit. Um, but what I'm gonna do is put a couple conveyors in there. So I can put a small cargo container up top. And a, three small reactors in the back. Uh, because... And I have a legitimate reason for that. Page down because uh, one small reactor is not going to be powerful enough to power this giant ship, all of its thrusters, and um, uh, I cannot put in a large reactor. I'm not going to have enough space. But if I take a bunch of these small reactors and put them in like this, that should be enough. Uh, let's see, 10 computers, one reactor component. So, oh, well, I could have carried enough. That should be enough to do what I need to do. Uh, then I'm going to put two gyroscopes here and here, and a small cargo container there. Uh, so I'm going to solder this up real quick and skip to when it's complete, because blinding light and all of that. So there we go. This thing's starting to take shape. Uh, okay, not really. Not at all, actually. Uh, it'll look better once I put the actual like shell on it. Uh, put all the armor around everything, but right now it's just the base and all the internal components. Um, so what we have to do is put in the thrusters. Now, I'm not focusing too much on, uh, you know, the front ones, the top ones, left, right, or bottom, uh, which I just suddenly realized. You know what? You know what? No. Uh, bottom... Yeah, it's going to go right here. Oh, I bet you that's where... Is that... Ooh, ow. No, good, okay. I thought that's where I had the uh, landing gear. I don't, which is good. Uh, but I'm going to... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, thrusters. Two, th two downward thrusters are going to go here. Two upwards thrusters are going to go beside... Um, boop. Home beside the cockpit. Whoa. Uh, boop. But I'm not gonna focus on, uh, I'm, I'm gonna focus all, most of the power backwards. So, in forward momentum, I'm gonna focus, well, all of my power, basically. Um, there we go. So, we got two front, two down. I just need two up. Which is end over end. Yeah, I'll put one there, and I'll put one there. As you can see, I put the thrusters... Wait, there we go. As you can see, I put the gyroscopes uh, perpendicular to each other because it seems to kind of make sense that this would make maneuverability a little bit better. But then I thought about it for a little while, and I realized that the torque would be working against each other. And then I thought about it a little longer... And I just now thought of this, but having two gyroscopes on the same ship might actually still cause a big problem because the, even if they were pointing the same direction, the torque would be working against each other. So I don't know if this is the right course of action. Um, where was I? Seven. And then I'll put page down. So I'm just going to put one thruster there. And then uh, page down again. One thruster there. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of thrusters on the back, uh, which is insert. Eventually, I'm going to learn how this stuff works. Boop. And let's put them evenly. Boop. Boop. Let's see, what can I do? Yes, I can do this. Okay. So six thrusters in back. I might actually add more of them. But yeah, so that's what? Two, four, six, eight. Um, 
14. 14 total thrusters. <laughs> but let me solder these all up. Uh, probably get uh, supplies and stuff to be able to solder them all up. But let me solder these all up. And that door is off-centered. That's been bothering me for a little while. I thought the cargo container looked off-centered. It's because the door is off-centered. Huh. I don't know. OCD. Whatever. Uh... Oh, right, 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 right. Look, I've got power! Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to finish up um, soldering. The, well, I'm going to finish up recharging, then I'm going to solder it, and then I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. We have this uh, thing. This crazy, crazy, crazy thing. Um, and it occurs to me that it is possible that these three reactors are not going to be enough but I do have options. Uh, right now I'm just using three reactors, but what I can do, I can take this uh, conveyor tube there, replace it with a conveyor block, uh, and then I put another reactor there as well as I could do the same thing over here, or I could take this cargo container, move it up one block, put another conveyor there and another reactor there, and then that way, not only do I have an extra reactor, but I also have direct access to my internal cargo. Because once this is buttoned up, if I put the armor blocks on it as is, I'm not going to have access to the internal cargo. And that's kind of necessary to power the guns, put bullets in the guns and stuff. Um, but as of right now, I mean, yeah, okay, I'm missing a landing strut. But as of right now, this ship should be functional. Uh, just not terribly armored up. So let's take this guy for a spin. Uh, take off our parking brake. Uh, let's turn off the inertial dampeners. Put a little bit of upwards thrust. Coast away from the platform. That way I put less uh, thruster damage into the platform. Yeah, I know. I don't particularly care. I could just repair it, but... All right. Here we go. Let's see if this thing actually flies. Whee! Oh, this thing actually kind of flies nice. Ooh. It seems to fly pretty smooth, too. Whoa! Okay, so the gyroscopes are a little powerful, and I think I almost took out the uh, turret with uh, one of my wings there. All right, so the general idea is that I can go forwards. I can accelerate really fast. Um, not nearly as fast as I would like, but adding a couple of thrusters would take care of that. But stopping is going to take forever. Oh, but I stop so much faster. Why do I stop so much faster? I have six freaking thrusters in the back. Look how slow I am to speed up. But look how fast I slow down. Holy crap. Why does that go so much faster? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, the general idea is that I have a lot of force going forwards, but to stop, I have to spin around, and that just jerks me to a stop, like completely. And that does seem to work, and I notice that my, re my power usage, which if I get away from the platform, I can focus on my power usage instead of my, uh, yeah, where I'm going. If I focus on my power usage, I can see that if I do the spin maneuver, I kick it up to 151% uh, power usage. Whee! And if I do, like, sharp maneuvers in general, yeah, I'm, I'm kicking it up over 100% usage. And I have no idea if that's going to actually, if that's damaging, or if that just kills off my fuel that much faster. Um... Wee! But I am cruising in this thing. I like it. I have no ammo. But let us park the ship just a little bit above the platform so I can get underneath it. Put on the second landing uh, uh, pad. <laughs> it looks like a UFO. Uh, put on the second landing pad and then let's armor this thing. Or, uh,. Not armor. Uh, 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 ammo. Ammo this thing up. And see if we can get it to... See if we can see what it can do. Um, 
So again, after soldering, I shall be right back. Well, there we have it. We're all ammoed up. Um, oh, I don't have that set right. Let us set that right. So I'm going to put you on nine. That way my tools will be over here and the weapons will be over here. Because as you can see, I still have the drill on my toolbar from Little Red over there. Woo! Oh, you probably can't see my mouse, actually. I just realized that. Um, you can hear the clicks. You can see what I highlight. But you can't... Uh, you can't see my mouse. I just realized that. Uh, so let's get out of there. But as you can see, I still have the drills from when I was flying around with Little Red there. Uh, so the ship toolbar is the same for every single ship. It will always be the same. However, there's only a limited number of things you can put in a ship toolbar. Uh, drill, uh, grinder, uh, welder, uh, gatling gun, and um, the rockets. So, there's plenty of space. Alrighty. So now we have our prototype fighter jet. This is truly a prototype. That's not that blinding over there. You could just barely see him too in the corner. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> That's powerful too. Um... And of course, I'm putting up, uh, woo, or I put all uh, heavy armor on it. And uh, as we can see, the light armor is pretty easily affected, but the heavy armor, not quite as much. I mean, it's affected. We can see that it took a little bit of damage, but not nearly as much as the light armor. And I'm saving now. Hang on a second. There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, I wonder if I could turn that off, but I know I can turn it off. Wee! <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Yes, as you can see, I stole another business shipment. Wee! I wonder how much power the or how much armor the turrets have. Um. Well, uh, I was asked, I was questioning before, the last time I was looking at a business ship shipment, I thought I had damaged the solar panels, uh, but it turns out they come damaged. Uh, two of them are damaged by default, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, which would also explain the little yellow, or the not-so-little yellow ship there. Whee! It was pretty messed up when I first got it, too. Um, I thought maybe it's because I had rammed it into a, an asteroid, but, uh, not actually, not as much as, you know, it did damage it, obviously. It destroyed pretty much the front quarter of the ship. As you can see, I've replaced it with heavy armor, which turns out to be utterly, utterly worthless when it comes to getting smashed into by heavy, fast objects. Um... Oh, just going side to side just takes so freaking long in this thing because I didn't focus on side to side thrusters. I focused on forward. And somehow my reverse thrusters are crazy powerful. Oh, not as much, only when I'm stopping. Hmm. But, I mean, this, this is working. I mean, we've got a prototype fighter jet. So what I'm going to do off camera is finish up this guy's armor and uh, probably put on the last of the reactors because I am maxing out the reactors. Though I am only kicking it down. If I get up to speed, if I get full all the way up to speed, and uh, hang on, all the way up to speed. It's still speeding up pretty quick, but... And then we start using it. Woo! We start doing crazy maneuvers and crap. I'm only using four days of fuel. Woo, oh, that'll make you sick. How do fighter pilots actually do that? Because real fighter pilots, like jets and stuff, they do maneuvers like that all the time. I don't know. But my fuel time seems to only go, be going down to four days, so it looks like I have plenty of juice. Um, Woo, doggy. Yeah, it seems like I have plenty of juice. It's just, if it turns out that overloading the reactors like that is going to, uh, like, make the reactors blow up or something, I might want to be concerned about that. I keep hitting X instead of C. 
because I want to sink, land this guy, and finish up uh, building it. Actually, I better hit V to make sure I'm not landing on Little Red. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Park. All right. So, I will finish up armoring this guy, and I will put a couple more reactors on there, just in case there is actually serious negative consequences to overloading the reactors. I don't know if there is. I haven't seen any. But if there is, I want to be prepared. Because I know overloading a real reactor for any length of time can make it kind of explodey. So I'd rather not be flying around and be like, yay, I'm finished. Boom. <laughs> so I will finish up this ship. And then in the next episode, we will go after one of the bigger uh, corporate ships, one of the business class ships. Um, hopefully it'll work out well. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So I will see you in the next episode. And hopefully these things don't destroy me. Oh, that's a lot of them. That is a lot. That is a lot. Um, my turrets seem to be going good, and I don't think anything's pointing directly at me anymore. I was going to say, that one's going to get close, but it would pass me. It is still creepy, even with the turrets. Oh, that one hit. Did it hit? No, it looks like it got destroyed at the last possible second. Sweet. And that was me. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. That was me. All right. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.